Okay guys, welcome to another video. We are continuing responding to atheism and there's an interesting comment here from the same person. So, must be interesting. So he says he does not believe in the design thing, like intelligent design. It's all fake. So he gave some instances of what he doesn't believe in. Let's just listen to him. He says the appearance of design is based in ignorance. The closer you look at life, the more clear it becomes that it was not designed. There, there are way too many inefficiencies and design flaws to go into here, but I'll touch on some of my favorites. So brace yourself for this one. So he's saying that there are some inefficiencies and design flaws. Saying this means you have a standard of design in mind, right? Or you are placing yourself in the place of a designer to be able to, to see the flaws, right? Only a designer or someone who knows about design can see. So the, the, first, the first thing he says is, first being the laryngeal nerve, which goes from the brain to the throat by way of the aortic arc in the chest, which is inefficient in humans, but utterly ridiculous in giraffe, giraffes. So this laryngeal nerve, apparently it's, it's not important, but you know, my question is like according to who right because science well it has taught us a lot but science doesn't know everything about us we're still studying who we are and our human bodies and sometimes we think this does this but we're not sure if it does this um apparently it does nothing according to to this comment but then if you do a little bit of research you find that it actually does something it has a function controlling the vocal cords and everything in the pharynx. I mean, around the, the, the pharynx region. So it has a function. It's not unimportant. But even if it didn't have a function, right? What if it was all by design as well? And maybe that falls into the next point, which is the, the optic nerve that crosses the retina causing blind spot. Apparently other animals don't have this. But we do, right? And, and, and that, uh, that apparently is a design flaw. But what if it was intentional? Because, right, there's that blind spot, but because both eyes are working, that blind spot is covered, right? So that blind, that blind spot is compensated. In fact, it is not even visible or it is not even noticeable. So all these things we think are flaws, they're actually by design. And God is very intentional in what he does. And there was a thing about the muscles that we, we, we have for moving our ears and all these things. Then there was the instance of wisdom tooth. To answer about wisdom tooth though, there has actually been studies to show that the reason why we, we have these wisdom tooth that we think are so unnecessary now is because of how our diet has changed. You know, we no longer eat real food. We eat soft food these days. And so some of our teeth has, has adapted to become useless in that sense. So there's always reasons why things happen. And as, as life moves on, because of, uh, because of influences from, from our lifestyle, all these things affect how we live. Last point, vitamin C. So, he says our inability to produce vitamin C is, is a design flaw. But apparently, well, he said that there's actually a gene that was switched off. We have the gene, but it's switched off. And so why would God do that? And, and I didn't go into all the details of this, but I also believe that's by design because nothing happens with God by mistake, right? So our inability to produce vitamin C and that gene being switched off, what if that also is by design? And so what I, what I think about design when it comes to God is that God's, even the flaws in our nature are by God's design in some sense. Because God has a way of using the foolishness of the world to confound the wise. God has a habit of using the, the, the small things, of using our weakness, to show us his strength, to show us our need. And so I hope that that bless you, to know that everything happens by design 
and by God's intention. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.